friends, Linda here. I'm on my lunch break at the moment and I just found out that we are gonna go into the office this week on Wednesday and my work colleagues made a bit of a fun because they know that the, I like to cook and bake and they were like, oh, Linda's gonna bring in some cookies. <laughs> so I will bring in some cookies. <laughs> I've been looking at recipes and what I want to make and I want to make something new and uh, something that I haven't made before. I found this recipe, which is looking pretty easy. And then the note said that you can substitute um, lemons for any other part, like oranges, and you can have some limes, and you can put some nuts in there, and you can put some chocolate chips. So guess what we're doing? <laughs> I will make five batches, I think, and then I will test them out and see which ones I like the best and those will go into my book of recipes to be joined with the rest of my recipes of cookies that I like. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this! All of the bases are going to be identical, so I'm just going to make five bases and then add bits to it. I think that's going to be great. The recipe started with 100 grams of caster sugar, 130 grams of unsalted butter, which I have. I had, I took it out in the morning, so it's in the room temperature now, and it's quite squishy. Three zest of lemons, which I have, but I will replace this with these, and cocoa powder and chocolate chips, potential nuts, one large egg, which I do have, and 200 grams of plain flour and a pinch of salt. Seems really easy. Yeah. We're gonna start with 100 grams of caster sugar. Pinch of salt. And then the butter. 130 grams of this. excited about um, trying different recipes because usually I just stick to the ones that I like but this kind of gives me the authority of trying something new gonna chop these up a bit so that my mixer has an easier time of breaking it all down. I'm gonna use a K-beater, um, K-whisk for this one. While it's doing that thing I'm gonna zest three lemons and then add that in as well and that's gonna be my lemony one. Hate this part. If anyone has like better ideas how to do this, I would really appreciate it. Let me know. I always feel like I'm gonna cut myself or scrape off the skin of uh, one of my fingers. Does anyone else feel like that? Um, lemon zest has been added, I'm going to add an egg and mix it in and then I'm going to add the flour. I always keep a McDonald's cup around for measuring flour and sugar and anything dry because it's only like 10 grams.
while I wait for this one to mix, I'm going to start on the next one. 200 grams of caster sugar, a pinch of salt, and then I'm going to add oranges to this one. up this recipe because I don't know if I'm gonna like it yet but as an experiment if I like it next time I'm gonna double the recipe or triple it even it needs to rest in the fridge for 30 minutes but it might be a bit longer because my lunch break will be over soon I will have enough time to mix these up and then go and work it's quite sticky my camera died as I was doing the second lot of cookies. So this is a third batch. I have two in the fridge already and I made the orange one. This is chocolate chips. Can't get it out. not that sticky this one Little sausage. the orange one was a lot more wetter than this one so this one is the plain dough plus chocolate chips come on now just wrap it and put it in the fridge to cool off third batch done goes in the fridge we can start with the fourth batch which I'm gonna think is gonna be almonds I'm gonna make like a twist on almonds bake will tart I think I'm gonna stack two of them and put like a jam in between like raspberry jam uh, seedless and I'm gonna boil it a little bit before and that's gonna give it like a nice texture and it's gonna be less sticky but more like glazed around the edges and then while it's hot I'm just gonna jam them together actually I'm thinking now do I make two portions of almond ones then because of that if I do half like a bagel tart and then half like a normal one Questions? Yeah. Let's do two. I'm easily persuaded. All block. <laughs> we'll go in there. <laughs> two pinches of salt. I think the last one, last cookie, I will make with cocoa powder. So it's dark chocolate brown just as a difference <laughs> and we will see how they all turn out and I hope it's good I think I'm gonna add some vanilla extract to this probably just um, one one lid and then some chopped almonds that I had should give it a little bit of crunch Number four and five done and going into the fridge. Last one left. Should be easy. I've got it down to the T now. I have five minutes left. I mean five minutes in my lunch break. <laughs>
I won't need any more sugar and I'm going to start cleaning up a little bit so that I can manage to go back to work on time. I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of cocoa powder to this one and it should go dark brown. And now just flour. Number six, ready to go to the fridge. Okay, I'm gonna deal with all of this later. I'm off to work. Bye! Hiya, I am back. I just finished work. It's dark outside now. And my dough is ready to go in the on the pans and into the oven. I have pre-warmed the oven it's on 180 degrees now and I'm gonna just start chopping them about a centimeter a piece and putting them on the trays and baking. I don't know how many cookies I will get out of each. And I will do my two pans rotation as well. Two pans in the oven and two pans being prepared. And then as they come out I will just deal with it again. I do not know if they're gonna melt or or not, so I'm just gonna pop, put them in a bit of a distance. The chocolate chips that we added in here are making it hard to cut because I I hit the chocolate chips and then it just kind of cracks. One's ready. First two pans are ready and we're just gonna popping them in now. I think this is the almond bun that I'm gonna turn into sandwiches with raspberry jam in the middle. I think I made a mistake. This recipe calls for 130 grams of butter per, per batch and I added 125 grams of butter thinking that you know lowering it is gonna be fine because I don't particularly like much butter in my um, in my food but what has happened is that they have too much butter still and and, and you can tell I'll show you Can you can you see this these edges there and it's it's like they have melted and splintered and it's usually a sign of having too much butter it's just um this one's fine this one's really nice but then these ones are like um completely melted yeah and and your fingers are like super greasy after touching them as well you, you can tell it i was thinking that we could potentially even have um maybe 100 grams of butter per batch i'll need to experiment and see what at which point it doesn't hold together Kind of sad. I don't like too much butter. The last one, the lemon one. I'm noticing how different 
it is between each of the cookies. Some of them are fine ish. Still very fatty though. I don't know if you can see it. I think I will remake the cookies tonight. Try another batch. Less 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 butter. I think I have two packs of butter left in my fridge. I always like to have a little bit extra butter <laughs> just in case <laughs> if I decide to make something. So it's going to be useful for tonight because I'm going to redo these. Oh, don't worry about these ones. My husband Mark, he will eat anything that has sugar in it. So I'm just going to feed these to him. He's going to be very happy. Morning friends, this is the morning number two. I will remake all of these and the same recipes and everything the same except for 100 grams of butter instead of 130 grams of butter and then I should be ready to go to work. Um, it's 7 o'clock in the morning now and um, test batch is done. It's great. Look at that. Looks so much better, less fatty, 100 grams. I have remade all the cookies, so these ones are from yesterday and these are the old ones. As you can see, they're a bit thicker and the edges are a bit crumbly, which means that they have too much butter. And these ones have 130 grams of butter per portion. <coughs> these ones are the ones from today <laughs> and I think they are a lot better. There are smooth edges, only 100 grams of butter, they taste the same and they're still soft, so everything's fine. I even made a little like jam bakewell tart inspired things, so I boiled the jam and I filled it in and, and I put two cookies together. It's raspberry jam in the middle. And these are almond ones, almond cookies, so it tastes good. <clears throat> the only issue is when you bite into it, the jam just sprouts out <laughs> completely. <laughs> I'm gonna start cleaning it all up and then I'm gonna pack a box for work for tomorrow and I'll be ready to go. Here's my box for work tomorrow. I already started putting some in and um, I hope that people will enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you very much for hanging out with me today and yesterday and I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>